Hi, Dan Bros here with the third and final episode in our Halloween series of Collection Spotlight. Uh, first, we talked about James Bell's Bible. Secondly, we talked about Vern Miller's Body Box. And today, we have a special treat. It's the mother of all creepy objects in our collection. It is the state's electric chair. Once again, what I'll be discussing can be kind of graphic and may not be appropriate for the younger viewers. All right, let's start off with a trivia question. Who was the first person in either the Dakota Territory or South Dakota to be executed by the state? A little hint, he is famous for killing a much more famous person. And I will be answering the question at the end of the episode. All right, a little history about the death penalty and the chair before we go on to its victims. Uh, South Dakota started off with the death penalty, uh, it, then it was abolished in 1915. Legislature reenacted it in 1939. And the only problem was, they didn't have any method of enact, carrying out the the senten sentencing because they had stated that the prisoner must die from electrocution. Well, they didn't have an electric chair. So we borrowed the electric chair from the Statesville prison in Joliet, Illinois, and had some of the inmates use that as a model to build this one. Now, there are some very slight differences between the two, uh, most noticeably these little corner pieces and the shape of the headrest are different. So they are different chairs. The first person that was supposed to sit in the chair was a guy by the name of Clifford Hayes. He, however, at the last moment worked out a deal to get his sentence commuted to life instead of the death penalty. All right, so let's answer the trivia question first. The first person to be executed in South Dakota was Jack McCall on March 1st, 1877. He was hung for the murder of Wild Bill Hickok. What was that? That was weird. Anyway, now people always ask me if I get kind of spooked out by working back here with the electric chair, and it always kind of shocks them to find out that I don't. All right, back to the story of the chair. We'll fast forward to the year 1946. In January of that year, George Sitz was on the run after breaking out of a jail in Stillwater, Minnesota. He was in jail for a murder of a bartender. Well, the police caught up to him in January of 46 and they had a standoff and Sitz killed two police officers. He was caught shortly after and was sentenced to death. Now, he was put to death on April 8th, 1947 at 12.15 a.m. It was the first and only time this chair was used. Um, an interesting story is they actually had to go to a sporting goods store to buy a football helmet the day before the execution to hold the soaked sponge and the electrode on top of his head. So it was kind of, like I said, a homemade deal. Uh, it's kind of interesting. His last meal was chicken chow mein and his last words were, this is great, in all my experience this is the first time the authorities ever helped me escape prison. Thanks for joining us.